Okay, I'm here in GTD and I have 251 blessings. So I'm gonna spend them all on the Juggernaut and hopefully, hopefully I get divine. I have 100,000 cheese. So yeah, let's just start spending my blessings away of hopes of getting divine. I just, I just can't, can't not get it. I need to get it. Okay, let's start. Oh my gosh, I just got divine with 30 blessings. Only 30 blessings. That's actually cap. That's cap. No way this is real. Oh my gosh, I just got divine juggernaut with only 30 blessings. I have 220 left. Okay, this video is gonna be... Uh, actually, let's try juggernaut divine out. This is actually... How did I get it with only 30 blessings? My friend spent over 100 blessings and I got it with only 30. This is actually crazy. This is actually crazy. Okay, let's hop into a match with the, this divine juggernaut and let's test him out. Okay, I'm in a match and yeah, I'm in winter mouse will. Uh, I'm, I'm not uh, playing on this map much, but this time I will be. So let's just place down the cheese eater right over here and yeah, now it's the waiting game. I have auto skip turned on, but let's see how it goes in winter mouse will. I have really never tried this map out. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Okay, it seems some stuff in... Nothing seems to be going wrong right now. They're taking everything out of the way. So that's good. I'm gonna place another cheese eater here. And place these farmers down when I can. Yep, I just did. And the mind juggernaut actually looks pretty sick. Not gonna lie, he looks actually pretty jacked. I mean, he, it does... Uh, yeah, it... it uh, the, whatever. The appearance actually didn't just change, nothing changed, only the divine sign, but yeah. It's crazy how I got him only in 20 sum, the summon, the, in 20 blessings. I mean dirty blessings, what, what am I on about today? What's wrong with me? And I have my divine cheese eater on my team as well. Okay, we have some camo gobblers coming in. We should be fine, should be fine. These camo gobblers, oh shoot, I forgot to upgrade it. Gonna, oh yeah, I need to place one down right here to take care, care of these camo gobblers. Okay, done. I'm gonna replace him so I, it doesn't get sketchy or anything like that. I, I need to start placing my rocket rats. Yeah, I did up with both my cheese farmers, so that's good. <coughs> and I'm really excited for the partner role. The, the robo one hasn't to told me anything yet, but... I think he's in the process of, process of still making it. Hopefully, hopefully it, it'll be good. Hopefully it'll make my life easier or something like that. Okay, just plop down my fort rocket rat. Now, um, yeah, let's just upgrade the cheese farmers for now. Yeah, this is pretty easy for now. I have never actually tried this on the winter mousehole map. Are we even gonna take down this wise gobbler? I think I'm gonna have to upgrade one cheese eater because I don't think we're, we'll be able to take down the wise gobbler. So let's see. Let's see if we can take him down. Close the game gobbler first. Eh, it's looking like we will be able to beat it. Yeah. Let's just upgrade the cheese farmers. Let's keep upgrading them. Some angry gobbler stacks coming next. We need to, I'll need to prepare for wave 15 because that's where the, you know, the hard camo, distinguished camo gobblers come. I mean, they're not kind of gobblers, but they are. They're disguised gobblers. Okay, it's wave 15. So Lee, let's see, he's, he's got like a suit and a gobbler, camo gobbler's face on him. If you haven't noticed, noticed that. The shift gobbler, shift gobbler should be easy to take down because of my rocket rats. They, they do some big splash damage. And I can almost plop down this cheese. I mean, juggernaut. What am I talking about? Divine juggernaut. This divine juggernaut is gonna help me out so much. Actually, uh, I'll upgrade my farmers. Farmers still. But I want. I really want to place him down and see what he does. Let's just plop him down in a sec. Actually, uh, yeah, let's place him down. Oh, wow. So his damage went up by 3. That's quite a lot. I don't... Oh, his range went up by 1.1. So that's quite a lot. And his cooldown went by 0 0.3 down. Wow. Oh my gosh. 20 range on the second... Oh, are you kidding me? 
I was wondering why was this so easy. Because I was playing it. I can literally one shot the boss with Greg. Come on. Oh, alright. I'll get to like wave 20 in insane or something. I'll see you there. Okay. Looks like this was a mistake after all. Okay, so this time it's wave 21 and this time I actually picked the right mode. I don't know what kept messing me up, but this time I picked it. So let's place the juggernaut. So I just explained it last time I explained this and I have to get this mega mini minigun upgrade so I really want to see what it does and we're at wave 22. I want to see these the juggernauts only can take the boss down. I want to see if this path and maybe I'll be able to max out the other path as well. But for now I'll just keep upgrading this juggernaut. I'll actually put him on strongest because these Furrier Gobbler stacks. Uh, I mean these guys, the Rocket Rats will take the little ones out and the juggernaut will take out the big. The I mean these Furious Gobbler stacks, you know what I mean. And actually let's upgrade one Rocket Rat as well. For some more splash damage, nice. And place another. Oh. Let's see what he does. 88 damage, 40 range. 40 range is crazy. Basically covers everything here. That's actually pretty crazy. Let's put this guy on strongs as well. Wow, that's actually pretty crazy. I'm gonna remove these cheese eaters. Wait, actually, let's place, let's place one. Let's turn off auto skip and place one here on the the blue, the blue guy. He will be blue. Let's I need some more uh, of the huge blast. This is not good. I'll use my Greg over here. Yeah, okay. And now I can upgrade my rocket rat safe safely. All of them are on the, the thingy level, if you know what I mean. This on the first level is basically the same, but with but with 0 0.18 cooldown. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Uh, I need to actually upgrade my cheese farmer so I can get some more money. And this guy deals AoE at the last level, so he's actually pretty good, not gonna lie. He is actually pretty good. Oh, this is a money wave, so that's very good. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna max out my cheese farmers before I start upgrading the, the juggernaut. Okay, I just need three mo two more thousand, because these cool gobblers do give a lot of money. Okay, these rocket rats should help a lot. Okay, I just maxed out my farmers. Now, it's the Skibidi wave, are you kidding me? Yeah, it's the Skibidi wave. And I'm gonna place, actually, another another one right Oh, Actually, yeah. Never mind, let's upgrade this, yeah. So he get 150 damage every 0 0.90 seconds. That's, that's more than this, but the range is uh, uncomparable to this. But the damage is noticeable. It's like twice the damage. I mean triple the damage, yeah, I mean triple. It's like triple the damage. Okay, so let's see how how quick how quickly he attacks on the next level. I don't hit. I don't think his appearance changes. He just gets bigger. So let's see. Oh, he he gets blue. Wow. Oh my gosh. 0 0.09 seconds. That's actually OP. Oh my gosh. That's actually crazy. Oh, the nightmare gobbler stacks are coming. Let's see if he can take out those. No, he probably can't without the. Ooh. The rocket rats will take it out, right? Yeah, right. Okay, nice. Okay, you can upgrade him. Nice, I got him. Yeah, see, he does AoE. So that, his range is actually pretty good. Haven't even noticed. I, I always thought he was pretty bad. Yeah, the AoE is actually pretty nice. Uh, sadly, it doesn't reach there, but yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I like how there's cheese inside of the minigun. That's that's quite nice detail, detail they added. And he does 200 damage every 0 0.09 seconds. That's actually pretty crazy. He's a very crazy guy with the divine. He already has done 1.4 million damage. That, that's pretty crazy. Or is that... Okay, let's upgrade the fun you furry. Yeah, so it's pretty good as well. 308 damage. Four, 40 range is nuts. 40 range is actually nuts. I don't know what to say about the range. I'll, I'll just say the range is OP. And actually, these guys weren't upgraded. So yeah, I'm gonna have to upgrade them. Oh, I, I might actually need to help him out. They're kind of getting stuck on this. Yeah, I would have died. Yeah, these rocket rats are pretty helpful. I should have maxed them out, but whatever. It's already almost the last wave. I just wanna see if these juggernauts can take out everything. I should have probably brought Chill Mouse instead of Greg. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Okay, we can upgrade another one. Yeah, I think Fun Furry is better because of the range, but only the range. 
Yeah, because 0.089 seconds is actually pretty crazy. Okay, this is just a money wave, but that's very good. Oh yeah, that's so satisfying. He deals AOE with that. That's actually pretty satisfying. Let's let's bring out the boss already. Sell absolutely everything. Uh, yeah, let's just sell everything, even my farms. I mean, why do I even need those now? If so, actually, let's let's place some AOE gods. I mean, cheese gods. I, I always ca call them AOE gods because they do AOE. I don't know why. Yeah, hopefully they help out a little bit. They're not gonna do much. But you know, for the memes, for the memes. Memes. Okay, so they're kind of destroying him right now. Yeah, they're kind of... I'll have to sell this guy and place him... I'll place another fun euphoria. If he gets like here and he isn't below 100,000, then I'll use my Gregs on him. Yeah, Gregs are too OP for this. I wanna see if these... All of these forged five juggernauts can beat it. Let's see. Destroyer of cheese. Come on, can you do it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he has legs, hands, everything. Yeah, help. I think they can do it. If he reaches here, he should be dead. And even the cheese eaters are for backup. The cheese gods. Yeah, they'll, they'll start doing some damage as well. Okay, come on, you can do it, guys. Let's place another divine juggernaut. Put him on this level. And the juggernaut has beaten the destroyer of cheese. Alright, we did beat insane. So that was pretty fire, and we got 1,000 cheese. Okay, so I just clarified that Juggernaut is very OP, and yeah, shout out to Kingus for giving me some free units, and Murray for giving me some free units, I really appreciate it, thank you. And I'll see you in the next one, Oscar.